Hello, my name is Kyung Han, and I am studying at the Sungyeonggwan University. You can see the whole of my poster. From now on, I'll zoom in and show each section. I'm in Professor Sung Soo Yoon's OLED laboratory and cooperated with researchers at the Hongik University. My topic is blue organic light emitting diodes using phenyl anthracene substitutes in nanokinolin derivatives. The development of efficient blue materials is a challenging problem, and anthracene derivatives have been used to various organic electroluminescence emitters because of wide energy band gap, high quantum yield, and good armor stability for OLED applications. These materials and data have been researched in previous works. In this study, we designed and synthesized two blue fluorescence materials using phenyl anthracene substitute in the enoquinoline derivatives by Suzuki coupling reaction between phenyl anthracene boronic acid and bromodimethyl in the enoquinoline intermediate with the moderate chemical yields. To determine the electron distribution and structural features of two materials, DFT calculations were carried out using a suite of Gaussian programs. The electron cloud distributions of HOMO and LUMO are displayed. It was found that HOMO and LUMO are completely separated in material 1, and both HOMO and LUMO of material 2 mainly exist at the center of anthracene. Both materials show highly twisted structural features which should prevent the self-aggregation and contribute the improved EL performance of OLED devices using them as emitters. We evaluated the photophysical properties of materials such as the ultraviolet absorption and photoluminescence in dichloromethane solution as well as quartz plates. The resulting data were shown in figures and is summarized in table. The maximum emission wavelengths of materials were recorded around 434 nanometer in dilute dichloromethane solution, which correspond to deep blue regions in the visible spectrum. Compared to solution state, Pure spectra of materials in solid state showed a small degree redshift due to the reduced tendency of self-aggregation and weakened intermolecular interaction. To investigate the electroluminescence properties of compounds, non doped devices were fabricated with the following structures. Thanks to the researchers at the Hongin University who helped make the devices. The resulting data shown in figures and is summarized in table. The maximum emission peaks at 446 nanometer, having similar tendency of PL properties in solid state, indicating that all emissions of both devices were originated from the single excitons of materials in the emitting layer. The CIE coordinates of devices 1 and 2 were 0 0.15, 0 0.10, and 0 0.16, 0 0.13 at 8 voltage, which are comparable to the NTSC deep blue standard. We have synthesized two blue fluorescence materials using phenyl anthracene substitute arenyl indenocinoline derivatives and investigated their electroluminescence properties. A device one using first material showed the efficient deep blue emission. Thanks for watching.